Keyborg is a fast-paced, action-packed, violent and brutal beat-em-up. And when I say this game is violent and brutal, I actually mean it. Just like Street Series 4 and Shredder's Revenge felt like throwbacks to the 2D side-scroller beat-em-ups, this title feels like an old-school 3D beat-em-up. In fact, it sort of reminds me of Fighting Force from the PlayStation 1. Keyborg is a story-driven action game with rogue light encounters. Each challenge is unique and the narrative always moves forward, win or lose. Become an unstoppable war machine and face the consequences of your action as you lead a resistance group on a faraway prison planet. Basically, you play as a generic, overly muscular man of action. I told you, this feels like a throwback. As you take on waves of enemies in different arenas, collecting upgrades and augmented enhancements as you go. And what's cool is not only do these enhancements give you little small passives, allowing you to sort of customize your playstyle, they actually alter your character's appearance until you look like a fully armored walking death machine. And honestly, it is no surprise that this game is brutal, bloody, and old school, because it's from the team that brought us Redeemer, which is a kick-ass top-down beat-em-up and it was actually a really great game. In fact, it is one title I could barely put down. So when it comes to blending a fun gameplay loop that is both action-packed and overly violent, this team definitely knows what they're doing. And it's not just the blood and gore the game has to offer. The attacks feel like they have some real weight behind them. Your character is no pushover with little puny girly punches. Stop being a girly man and work out. When you land a punch or a kick, you can hear the impact and the pain you're bringing to anyone that stands in your way. Blunt force trauma. Force power. Heavy duty cast iron pile driving punches that will have to hurt so much they'll rattle his ancestors. Toasty! And it's not just your fist you have at your disposal. You will get access to a ton of melee weapons, ranging from a hand knife to giant war hammers. On top of this, you're also going to get access to firearms, which offers a nice blend of close and ranged combat to the game. Getting tired of punching thugs? How about shooting them in the face with a shotgun instead? Now, you may be thinking, hey, I love old school beat-em-ups, but the real magic of these games was in co-op. And you're in luck, because Keyboard is actually going to feature split-screen couch co-op, which I think is great. After all, in my opinion, these games basically require co-op play. Now, while the trailers have shown split-screen couch co-op, I also really hope we get online play. Because why this genre always reminds me of my childhood, unfortunately, I'm no longer a kid. And it's much easier to play with my friends online than it is to meet up at someone's house. Now, after spending some time with the demo, I'm gonna admit I do have some concerns about the game. And I'll be the first one to admit it. This game definitely needs some tightening up and a bit more polish. While I still had fun playing it, I think the controls and timing just need a little bit more work. Especially when it comes to the parry system. This might be a case of get good, but the timing just felt completely off. I also worry about the atmosphere. The game takes place in a faraway prison planet, and it is very apparent they're going for a sci-fi theme. So I hope we get some cool and interesting levels. I hope the developers go completely overboard and just run wild and offer something unique, giving us a ton of variety with the stages. Because let's face it, they had no problems taking liberties with the title of the game. Keyboard? Was Cyborg just too generic for them? How do you even pronounce this? Kyborg? Keyborg? K-I? K-I? Like Killer Instinct? Borg? But I would love to hear what you all think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. By the way, if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm gonna get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.